Hello, can you hear me? Anybody is there? Hello? Uh, hello, Hina? Okay. Hello and welcome. Oh, every... can you hear me? Hi, Hina, can you hear me? Okay, hello students. Uh, today we'll be discussing the structure of our research proposal in the context of advanced businesses research methods. Uh, can you hear me, Hina? Is there an issue? Okay, uh, my name is Yasser Gulfraz and I'm your tutor for uh, today's session. We'll be discussing the structure of a research proposal in the context of advanced business research method uh, as you work on your research proposal. Uh, it is important to understand the key components that make up a comprehensive and uh, well-organized uh, proposal. Hello. So uh, what we will cover, so uh, now we'll be covering important aspect of conducting a research uh, in a business and economics context. By the end of this session, you will have the skills needed to develop research approaches, critically review literature, design businesses, research methodologies, and even present a research proposal confidently. Uh, please let me know if you can't hear or can't see my screen, okay? You can reconnect again if there is any issue. So uh, research is an essential aspect of uh, understanding the business world. Hello? Hello? Okay. Hello? Yeah, can you... Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can... think there is some problem with my end, but I think it will be, it will be resolved soon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. If uh, you can see my screen anyway. Okay, anyway, our research is an essential aspect of understanding the business world and making informed decisions. Uh, to develop research approaches effectively, you need to start by clearly defining your research question or problem. Uh, direct interaction with stakeholders. Yes, such... I can see you, should be. Okay, okay. Okay, if any issue, just please let me know. I think so, his problem is on your side, so uh, check your connection and reconnect again if there is an issue. So direct interactions with stakeholders such as business owners, economists, economists or uh, consumers will help you gain valuable insights. Uh, formulating research objectives and uh, hypotheses will guide you, uh, your study and help focus your efforts. Uh, also remember to consider both qualitative and quantitative method to uh, gather comprehensive data. So today uh, we'll be able to develop research approaches in a business and economics context, then critically uh, review literature on a business research topic. Uh, 
and then be able to design business research methodologies and then uh, finally be able to develop present uh, uh, and present a research proposal. So a uh, structure of the research proposal. So let's start uh, into the structure uh, together. So chapter one, introduction. Introduction uh, is in this chapter, you will set the foundation of your research proposal by uh, providing essential background information and clearly outlining the purpose of your studies. Uh, begin with a background study. Here he's talking about background research rationale and research gap aims and objective research questions and hypothesis. So begin with a background study that provides context for your research topic, uh, discuss the current state of knowledge in the field and highlight any key developments or trends that are relevant to your research. Uh, explain the rationale behind your research, for example, uh, why your study is important and relevant to the field of businesses and economics. Uh, identify the research gap, uh, which is the specific area where your study intends to contribute new knowledge or address unanswered questions. So uh, also clearly state the aims and objectives of your research. The aims are the uh, broad goals you aim to achieve through your study, uh, while the objectives are specific, measurable targets that will help you accomplish those aims. Uh, formulate clear and concise research questions uh, that align with your uh, objectives. These questions should uh, guide your research and help you focus on the key areas of investigation. So if your research involves quantitative methods, you may need a developed research hypothesis. These are specific statements that uh, predict the uh, relationship between variables in your study. So next uh, uh, is chapter two, which is a literature review. Uh, in this chapter, you will uh, critically review the existing academic literature related to your research topic. So this section is vital as it uh, demonstrates your understanding of the field and helps uh, establish the theoretical framework for your study. Uh, you need to discuss the uh, academic theories and concepts uh, relevant to your research, present a clear overview of these theories and explain how they relate to your research topic. Uh, critically, Analyze, analyze the existing literature, pointing out any strengths, weaknesses, gaps of uh, contradictions in the current knowledge. Uh, then identify our areas where uh, further research is needed and how your study intends to address these gaps. Uh, so based on those, uh, based, based on the theories and literature you have reviewed, uh, we develop a conceptual framework for your research. This framework provides a structure for organization, organizing your uh, research and guiding uh, your data uh, analysis. Then uh, we'll come to the uh, chapter three, which is methodology, structure of the proposal again. So in chapter three, methodology, is, in this chapter, you will outline uh, the research method methodology uh, your plan to employ in your study. The methodology provides the uh, roadmap for how you will uh, gather and analyze data to address your research questions. Uh, use research onion and explain its uh, components with the uh, proper justification. Introduce the research onion, a multiple layered approach that helps you structure your research explain each layer of the onion, uh, including philosophies, approaches, strategies, choices, and techniques. Also uh, justify your choices for each uh, layer based on the nature of your research and the objective of objectives of your studies. Uh, also uh, describe the sampling techniques you will use to uh, select participants or data points for your study. Uh, justify your chosen sampling method based on its uh, uh, appropriateness 
for your research design. Uh, additionally, specify the sample size and explain how it will ensure the reliability and validity of your findings. Uh, data collection, uh, outline the Here's, uh, outline the data uh, collection techniques you plan to uh, use such as surveys, interviews, ob ob observations, or secondary data sources. Uh, justify your selection by explaining how each technique aligns with your research questions and objectives. Uh, discuss the advantages and limitations of your chosen uh, data collection methods. Uh, detail your approach to data analysis, explain the techniques you will use, uh, the, uh, uh, analyze the data you have collected, such as statistical analysis or uh, coding. Uh, describe how you, your chosen methods will help you, uh, you answer your research questions and draw meaningful conclusions. Any uh, questions so far? Okay, uh, address the ethical uh, consideration of your research, especially uh, when dealing with the human participants. Explain how you uh, will ensure informed content, consent confidentially and data protection throughout your study. Discuss any potential uh, ethical challenges and how you will address them. Uh, acknowledge the limitations of your research, clearly identify a potential constraints of or factors that may affect the scope or gen, uh, generalizability of your findings. Demonstrating an awareness of these limitations shows a realistic and thoughtful approach to your research. Uh, any questions uh, regarding methodology? Okay, next one is a uh, project plan. Your plan for the dissertation. Project plan, in this chapter, you will uh, present, your, uh, present your plan for the dissertation, outlining the timeline and steps uh, uh, you will follow to complete your uh, research. Uh, important points, be very clear about your research title, uh, present well-defined aims and uh, objectives. Make sure you identify research gap, research need clearly, or research needs clearly, including research questions which will be answered during the course of the research. So uh, uh, basically, you need to clearly define your research title, well uh, uh, present uh, well-defined aims and objectives that aligned with your research questions. Uh, identify the research gap or research need you intend to address, include research questions that will guide your uh, investigation and provide clear answer by following this structure and addressing the key points. Uh, you will develop a compelling research proposal that effectively uh, communicates the significance and visibility of your studies. Yes, seven. So structure of the pro, uh, uh, proposal, indicative words count chapter one. Uh, here, uh, focus on the indicative words count for each chapter. This will help you uh, manage your content effectively and ensure a well-balanced and comprehensive uh, proposals. So let's talk about each chapter words count and how you can complete these tasks. So uh, chapter one is about introduction, uh, 450 and 550 words. Chapter two, which is literature review, 800 to 900 words. Then chapter three is methodology and data collections, 800 to 900 words. And chapter four, conclusion and work plan, uh, 300 to uh, 400 words. So uh, chapter one, introduction. Uh, in this chapter, you will provide essential background information, okay? Uh, and outline the purpose of your research study. Aim to be uh, concise yet through in present, uh, presenting the necessary context of your research. 
Can you hear me, Hina? Okay. Uh, this yes, is, uh, yes. yes, I can. Uh, yeah, uh, this is the most okay. important. Yeah, this is the very important part of your, uh, you know, that uh, words. Uh, so, uh, chapter two is a literature review. In this chapter, you will uh, critically uh, review existing at academic literature as we discussed uh, related to your research topic, aim to demonstrate your understanding of the field and establish a solid uh, uh, theoretical, theoretical framework for your study. Then is a methodology and uh, data collection, 800 to 900 words. In this chapter, you will uh, outline the research methodology and data collection technique, your plan be employed in your study, be clear and uh, throw, uh, thorough in explaining your choices. Then finally is a chapter four conclusion and work plan, 300 to 400 words. Uh, in this concluding chapter, you will summarize the key points of your proposal and outline your work plan for the research. Uh, literature review. Uh, we will uh, talk about literature review section of your research proposal. The literature review is a, a very critical uh, component that establishes uh, the uh, theoretical foundation of your study and uh, uh, demonstrates your understanding of the field. So literature review. Uh, in the literature review begins by providing clear uh, definition of key terms and uh, concepts relevant to your research topic. So this helps to establish a common understanding of uh, essential terms and ensures that uh, readers can follow your analysis and discussion. Uh, next, theories and models related to the research topics area, identify and discuss the uh, relevant theories and models relevant to your research topic of uh, or area. Explain how these theories and models have been applied in uh, previous research and how they contribute to understanding the uh, phenomenon you, uh, you are investigating. Uh, conducting a critical review of the academic uh, literature that directly relates to uh, your research. This involves uh, analyzing and evaluating the existing studies, uh, identifying their strengths and weaknesses, and highlighting any gaps of contradictions in the literature. So, uh, in your critical uh, review, be sure to clearly uh, highlight both supporting and contrasting uh, contrasting view, views presenting in the literature. So this will demonstrate your ability to critically analyze uh, different perspectives and provide a comprehensive understanding of the research landscape. Ensure that you include literature from the last uh, 10 years in your review. This will give you access to the latest work done by academics in the field, enabling you to build upon the most current and uh, uh, relevant research. So as you uh, review the literature, identify the research areas or uh, variable of interest that will form the basis for data collection in your study. Uh, this will help you focus your data collection efforts on the most relevant aspects of your uh, research. So based on the theories, models, and research areas identified in the literature review, develop a conceptual framework for your study. Uh, the conceptual framework provides a visual representation of how the variables in your uh, research are interconnected and guides uh, your data analysis. Next is uh, methodology. So you need to be clear uh, on research uh, paradigm, interpret uh, pre uh, interpretivist or positivist or realist research approach, 
uh, methodological choice, research strategy, time horizon, techniques, and uh, uh, procedures. So uh, first you need to identify the research uh, paradigm that aligns with your uh, research philosophy, uh, decide whether uh, your research, uh, your study will adopt uh, an interpretivist, positivist or realist approach. So explain your choice and justify why it is appropriate for your research. Uh, then research approach, inductive or deductive, so clarify whether your research approach will inductive or uh, deductive. Then specify your uh, methodological choice or methodical approach such as a case study, experimental survey, or uh, ad uh, additionally identify the uh, research strategy you will employ uh, such as cross-sectional or, uh, or long uh, or uh, just uh, such as a cross uh, sectional. So mention the time horizon of your research, whether it will be a, a cross sectional study conducting, conducted at a specific point in time or uh, carried out over an extended period. Discuss uh, after time horizon, uh, discuss the uh, techniques and procedures you will use to gather data and conduct your research. Uh, this could include surveys, uh, interviews, observations, or the collection of uh, secondary data from uh, reputable sources. Any questions so far? Uh, no, I guess that's fine. Okay, uh, so this is basically uh, about your assignment. Okay, you know, so uh, uh, okay, right. just discussing step by step, you know, how to explain things. So, so okay, when you sure. come to the methodology, uh, describe the type of uh, uh, sample you will be using. So, including the indicative sample size and characteristics, uh, char uh, characteristics of the uh, population sample. For example, if you are studying, uh, let's say, uh, social media, uh, social media marketing uh, in organization, you need to specify the characteristics of the uh, participants, such as having at least uh, five years of experience. Then explain the data collection uh, techniques you will employ or if you are using primary data, detail your survey or interview questions. Uh, if you are using secondary data, specify the sources from your uh, which you will gather uh, the data. Outline the uh, data analysis. So how it will be done? Out if you re if your research involves uh, quantitative data, discuss the tools you will use, such as uh, you know uh, or. SPSS uh, codes or other statistical software if your research is qualitative. Mention whether you will manually analyze the data or use software like uh, uh, NYVO. Uh, ethical considerations. Uh, how are you going to address ethical principle of informed consent, uh, voluntary participation, confidentiality, so, Sector, so mention how your research will meet all ethical guidelines. So, explain how you will meet all ethical guidelines throughout your uh, study. A limitation of the study briefly include a, a paragraph on the limitation of the studies. Uh, limitation of the study identify potential constraints of or factors that may affect the scope or uh, generalizability of your findings. Uh, project plan. Uh, here, uh, we are going to conclude uh, our lecture by discussing the final aspect of uh, your research proposal, uh, the project plan. So the project plan outlines the uh, different milestones of your uh, dissertation 
project and helps uh, your helps your study organized and on track throughout the research process. Uh, in the project plan, uh, include a project plan which covers the different milestones of the dissertation project. Refer to the indicative project plan on the uh, next slides. So, in the project plan, uh, provide a time lens of for your uh, timeline for your dissertation project, uh, breaking it down into uh, different milestones and activities. Uh, so, this plan will guide you in managing your time and resources efficiently. Uh, take a look at the indicative project plan provided on the uh, next slide. Uh, it serves as a model for structuring your own uh, project plan, customize it to, to fit the specific uh, requirements and duration for your research here. So project plan, uh, activities, chapter one, introductions, chapter two, literature review, research methodology, and data collections. Four is data collection and analysis, summary and conclusions. So uh, here we will come to the important points. Ensure at least uh, 12, 15 references in literature review. Uh, referencing should be in Harvard style. I hope you know about Harvard style. If not, then you can check it out. So uh, give proper headings and subheadings. Make your uh, document look present presentable and professional. Number your figure and tables including a questionnaire in the appendix, keep a check on a word count. Uh, you're allowed 10% uh, more less or more, so tolerance limit. So uh, here are some important points here, all he's talking about. So you need to remember while preparing your research proposal, so uh, first of all, you have to ensure uh, a sufficient number of references in the literature review, at least 12 or 15 or 20. Then you need to use uh, Harvard uh, uh, references for all citations and bibliography. So then structure your document with the proper headings and subheadings to make it look uh, professional and presentable. Then number your figures and tables for easy reference and clarity. Uh, include your questionnaire in the appendix section to provide transparency in your research methodology. Uh, keep a close check on your words count. So saying within the uh, plus or minus 10% tolerance limit uh, specified in the assignment uh, you know, guideline. So uh, I hope uh, uh, if anyone is there, Hina, you and if any other person is there, uh, I hope you found the uh, you know uh, information helpful uh, in preparing your research proposal. Uh, so, yes, I. Yes. Uh, uh, what? How I can submit my assignment? Uh, you don't have email. Have you got learning management system LMS, University Learning Management System? Uh, I can't hear you, but if there is, a, uh, you know, if you go to the learning management system, you will see a assignment submission icon. So you can submit there, or uh, otherwise you can email it to uh, me or uh, Jill or Roman. Okay. Uh, okay, right. So my email address is yasir at ukversity dot co dot. Uh, uh, yasir at ukversity.co.uk, okay? You want me to write it down for you? Uh, here is it, yasir at ukversity.co.uk, okay? 
or you can send it to Roman. So any other question? Anyway, that's all for uh, today. Uh, thank you for your uh, attention during my lectures. Uh, so if you have any question or need any further guidance, Hina or anyone is there, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, uh, just email me at yasir at ukversity.co.uk. So best of luck with your research proposal. And uh, I hope uh, I will see your uh, thoughtful and well-prepared work. So keep up the great efforts, so everyone. So thank you very much and bye for now. Uh, have a good weekend, you know. Bye everyone.